ಹೆಲೋ ಎವ್ರಿ ವನ್ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಎಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಆನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ರೋ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡ್ರಾನ್ ಗ್ರಾಫಿಕಲಿ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಕೇಳಿದಂಥ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಇದು ನಾವ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಈ ಅಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಆನ್ ಇಕಾನಮಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಜನರು ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸಸ್ ಒಂದು ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಥವಾ ಒಂದು ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇರೋದಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ನ ಇಕಾನಮಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆನ್ ಇಕಾನಮಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ so when all of these sectors that i told who are there in the economy it may be individuals it may be businesses all the businesses and individuals put together they collectively give an estimate all together of how much they are going to buy or purchase in an accounting year or within a given year that is called as aggregate demand okay so ella sectors galu economy alli iruvanta ella sectors galu ottu serisi avaru ondu varshadalli eshtu demand athava eshtu purchase anna maartare adanna heltar alva adanna aggregate demand anta karitheve nao now one thing you have to remember very importantly is that this aggregate demand is not the actual demand actual demand alla idu this is what this is only an estimate ondu anumana matra ella businesses mattu ella individuals galu economy alli iruva ella sectors galu serikondu ondu varshadalli ishtu ಪರ್ಚೇಸಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ತೇವಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಒಂದು ಅನುಮಾನ ಮಾತ್ರ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುವಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ರೆಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ಗೋಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಇಕಾನಮಿ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬೈ ಎಟ್ ಅ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬೈ ನೋಡಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದು actual purchase all it is estimate they are planning they are only planning at the planning stage only okay so that is aggregate demand now we shall see what are the components of aggregate demand so firstly we have private consumption expenditure andre janru spend maduvantaddu navu neevu galella idralle idralle baruttave okay private consumption expenditure then government consumption expenditure so whatever is the government spending then we have investment expenditure fourth one net exports now net exports means the difference between the imports and exports that is why we are considering only net exports so net exports ant helidre exports minus imports okay now when we write it in the alphabetic form it becomes ad is equal to andre aggregate demand is equal to c and that is private consumption okay we represent private consumption expenditure by the alphabet what c all right plus i that is investment expenditure plus g that is government expenditure plus x minus m that is your net exports net exports ant helidre nan helide modle exports minus imports alva now since in the second puc we are learning only about the two sector economy nimage easy agirli anta helkondu syllabus alli en madidare they have not considered this government and the exports part okay government in our consumption expenditure mathu ee export net export na part anna tagollilla since we are studying only this two sector economy we are considering only two things that is private consumption expenditure and investment so nimige innu sulabha aitu nen pidkollike ige enaitu aggregate demand is equal to c plus i and what is c c is private consumption expenditure i is our investments now coming to aggregate demand function see what is aggregate demand function it shows the total demand made up of consumption plus investment at 
each level of income. So what do we do in aggregate demand is that we simply add up the consumption plus the investment. So what are we doing? Consumption anna matthu investment anna yen maadthewe add maadithir adhi yen aithu aggregate demand aithu. Okay. So this is our aggregate demand function. At each level of income andre prathi level of income income hecha daga consumption hege change aakta idhe investment yavar iti irathe and add aggregate demand yen agathe anno dana helu vanta di yenu aggregate demand function. So that will tell you about the total demand which is the composition of consumption plus investment at each level of income. Now, now we shall see the schedule of aggregate demand. Now this is the schedule of aggregate demand. Uh, you might not find this in your NCRT textbook. Nima NCRT textbook nalli ये schedule नमके कार्लिक सिगले की ला दाया के ना directly graph अन्ना कोटे दारे okay but if you have to understand the graph it is very important that you also understand the schedule so schedule अन्ना अर्थात मार्क कोण रे मात्रा नमके graph अन्ना draw मार लेके सुला बागवान तो अलवा so हाँ गागी वों तो imaginary schedule अन्ना हाँ की देने याव दे complicated numbers अन्ना नाने ले हाँ की ला I have started with the very basic numbers okay this is just an imaginary figure schedule anna by heart maadu vanta avshakate illa there is no need to by heart or mug up this schedule you can give your own numbers ok nimma nimge beka the numbers anna niwa haak baudu but series anna note koli increase yelli aakta idhe yelli constant idhe yelli decrease aakta idhe so adhanna note koli ok now as you see in the schedule we have four columns correct first one is the income column and then we have consumption then investment fourth column is the AD and what is AD? Aggregate demand. I have told this, uh, told it before. Aggregate demand is equal to what? It is consumption plus investment. So income at the first stage, if you see, income is zero. Consumption is ten. Investment twenty. So aggregate demand is tied to consumption column plus investment column. Anna total mark kodi. Add it up. So ten plus twenty, you will get. 30 right now there is one doubt which usually student asks that at income 0 when the income is 0 how consumption can be 10 yenu income illa anta helidru kuda consumption hege 10 anta torisabodu anta see uh, there are uh, people who are not earning anything okay does that mean that they are not eating for the whole day no somebody else is providing but there is expense on their part also correct students there are students who are not earning anything as you all are students you are doing your studies but you have your daily expend expenses also correct but consumption aakta ide income yen illadidru kuda consumption aakta ide idanna now yen anta karitave we call it as autonomous consumption when there is no income but still there is consumption we call it as what we call it as autonomous consumption as you can see in the first stage then as and when the income goes on increasing from 0 to 100 200 300 400 500 and 600 consumption also goes on increasing adname gottira vicharane income increase aagta hoda genagutte now consume madudu kuda hechagutte we demand or we buy more of products correct in my previous video channel many times we have discussed about it so income increases consumption also increases so i had started consumption from 10 so i have increased it by the unit of 10 only 10 20 30 40 athara increase maartta hogiddene Investment we have kept it constant. Now students why in investment is kept as constant? It is kept at 20 at all the levels of income. Uh, say for example you are there at a house for rent. Okay. Baad ye mane lidde ra. Nima income hai chakta idhi anta hel kondo. Nima rent kuda hai chmaartta na unu. Illa alwa. The rent that you have to pay every month that is going to remain the same. Nima income hai chakli atwa income illa derli atwa hai chakli. Nima investment that is ni rent kodu du kodle be ka gutte. Correct ha. So investment we are keeping as constant 20 ad you know the fourth column that is nothing but the addition of second column and third column so ye consumption mat investment anna add maartta hogi yenagutte if you see the schedule you can very well understand that 
as and when the income is increasing what is happening to the consumption consumption is also increasing investment is kept constant but aggregate demand that is also increasing correct now we'll see the graphical representation of the aggregate demand so the same schedule that we had seen just now if you plot it in a graph in the x axis we'll take income that 0 100 200 we have seen just now right so if you take income there in x axis and in y axis if you plot the uh, consumption as well as the aggregate demand you will get a graph somewhat like this so ಈ ಹಿಂದೆ ಯಾವ ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಅನ್ನು ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ವಲ್ಲ ಅದೇ ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಅನ್ನು ನೀವು ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಡ್ರಾ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಈ ಥರ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಅಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಡ್ರಾ ಸಮ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸನ್ನು ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಕರ್ವ್ ಸೊ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೇಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನೋಡಿದರೆ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಈವನ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಝೀರೋ ವೆನ್ ದ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ವಿ ಸಿ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ the slope of consumption function is upward moving it is moving upward if you see the graph it is moving upward similarly if you observe the ad function that is aggregate demand function and consumption function how is it it is parallel so aggregate demand function matu consumption function na nadve iruvanta difference anna nodkoli it is increasing in the same level if you see the graph the ad function and the consumption function both are increasing in the same pace correct ah so that is why we say that the ad function that is aggregate demand function is parallel to the consumption function all right so that was all for today's video i hope the concept of aggregate demand and the graphical representation is understood if you are finding the content useful please to consider subscribing to my channel also please let me know in the comment section how are the videos helpful to you all thank you so much for watching see you in the next video till then take care bye namaste